Hello and welcome back to the Achievement Planner. And today I'm coming to you with Resident Evil 5. That was not a good ver version of how they say it. But whatever. Uh, it's still Resident Evil 5 whether I said it right or not. Um, so yeah, so this is an awesome game. People do not like this game. And I can see why. It's action, less horror. But it really is an awesome game. Alright, so it is... 70 achievements for 1400 gamer score. I'm including the DLC in this, of course, because I usually do the DLC. Uh, I would say 6 out of 10 difficulty. It's not a super hard game. Of all the Resident Evils, this is not a hard game. Completion time about 50 to 60 hours. Could be a little less, could be a little more. That's around the time. Playthrough number one veteran playthrough. Ooh, so now you could start on the amateur playthrough difficulty. And, and, or you could start on Veteran. If you just want as few playthroughs as possible, start on Veteran. However, you can unlock infinite ammo in this game, including infinite rocket launcher very easily. And you could unlock infinite ammo for any gun, even a, a Magnum, like seriously. So you could just uh, do, do amateur first, unlock everything, and then playthrough number one, Veteran playthrough. Now you still have to do Veteran to unlock Professional. So playthrough number two, either way, is Professional playthrough. And you could use Infinite Rocket Launcher. Hello! Alright, playthrough number three, Amateur playthrough. So in this game, to get a lot of the collectibles, you need to get S ranks, which I'll explain those later. But go, go back on Amateur, you could do that. Unless you get them on the hard difficulties, you'll see. Playthrough number four, The Mercenaries United. This is not a long thing you have to do, but I'll show you. Playthrough number five and six are both... Desperate Escape. There are two different DLCs here. So obviously, if, if you're just looking for a thousand gamer score, you don't have to do these. But um, this one is really good. It has, uh, well, I'm not going to tell you who's in it. Yeah, what? So yeah, you just have to beat it on Veteran and try to get all the achievements in there and then beat it on Professional. Same thing with Lost in Nightmares. Play through number seven and eight, Veteran and the Professional. And by that time, you should get all the achievements. And playthrough number nine, it looks like, oh, one playthrough. Yeah, this could take a long time, the versus mode. I remember do, just grinding out a lot of these things with some people. So, yeah. All right, well, anyway, category number one, story achievements, 17 for 255 gamer score. And, yeah, you'll get these just for beating the game on whatever difficulty. I did it on the easiest, I think, at first. So, yeah, that's it. Number Category number two, miscellaneous achievements, 20 achievements for 390 gamer score. And here we go. Number one, meet shower. 15 gamer score. Defeat three Magini with one Magini with one grenade or proximity bomb. I don't know why I thought that was funny. Uh, so those that is the name of the, the the enemies in this game. They are people who are you know whatever you'll say, but they're called Magini. So you just have to use one grenade. And when you have a group of like ten of them in a row, just throw a grenade. You'll get it no problem. Like in the video. Yeah, even in the, actually, in the first level is where the video is taking place. The first level that you you, in, you encounter. So you'll get that, no problem. Number two, Baptism by Fire. Defeat three Magini at once with a drum or gas tank explosion. So there are two types of things you could blow up. You could use that, you could blow them up with that, or you could blow them up with, um, um, wow, I forgot. You could blow them up with um, oil canisters. That's it, that's it. Oil canisters. So this one is a drum or a gas tank. And you'll get that. You can get it in the first level, like I said. Get physical, like Olivia Newton-John. Defeat 20 enemies with physical attacks. So once you do enough damage to an enemy, you can just do yeah X or whatever. I forget what the letter is, but just do a physical attack, knock them out. Or you can kill them that way. And guess what? First level you could do it on. Who would have thought? Number four, a cut above. Defeat five enemies with the knife. Again, you could do it the first level. In fact, I do. So, yeah, just use the knife to kill five enemies. They're not super hard, especially an amateur. So the next one is a friend in need. You can get this anytime, but saving your partner ten times when help is displayed. So if, if Sheva is in danger, or if you're playing as Chris, I guess, um, if Chris is in danger and they're saying, help, it'll say help, you just have to save them. And you'll get, just do it ten times, you'll get that. Six, same thing with dying. If they're actually dying, you could actually um, you could give them a, a shot and they can come back to life. You know, whatever. So, yeah, ten times you just gotta do it. Seven, exploding heads. Pull off twenty headshots. Eight, fireworks. Shoot an enemy Molotov cocktail, dynamite stick, or hand grenade. So, yeah, and they're, they're throwing these things like, you know, like, hey, I'm just gonna throw this. Like, it's not dangerous or anything. Just shoot it. Um... <laughs> Shoot it before it hits you or hits the ground or whatever um, Nine and by the way so far all of these are can be done in the first level uh, number nine 
lead aspirin. Oh, lead aspirin. Duh. For brain. Defeat a Magini with a headshot while it's jumping. And yeah, and um, in the first section where you where there's a whole bunch of enemies coming at you, uh, the, uh first level again. Um, there are M Magini jumping over the onto the cars, and when they jump off off the cars or the fence, actually, that's a good place to hit them in the head uh, with with a bullet. Uh, number ten, stop, drop, and roll. Defeat, Mag defeat three Magini at once, setting oil canisters on fire. Also, first level, that's where I did it right there. And uh, number eleven, ride the lightning. Same exact spot. Defeat a Magini using the electric current from a transformer. It's almost like they wanted to let you get all these achievements in one spot, in one level. Just, just, just for fun. You know, that was actually nice of them. So yeah, you could do all eleven of those in the first level so now on to some different ones number 12 heart stopper and this is where you're actually going to defeat when you first meet um well i guess i'm saying it the liquors you'll see a liquor i don't know if it's a spoiler but when you first when you first when you meet your first liquor and if you don't know what those are they're like these crawling creatures with these big tongues you're going to see them at some point and i'm not telling you when they are but once you see it one is the first one that jumps out of you shoot it in the head with um uh, shotgun. I don't know how many times. One or two times. But once it's on its back, then you stab it. That's the enemy you have to stab in the heart. People don't don't realize that that's the enemy. So yeah, that's number twelve. Number thirteen. Egg on your face. Fifteen. Gamer score for defeating a Magini with a rotten egg. So you're gonna find different eggs in this game, and one of them's a rotten egg. I'll explain how to get it later. You just throw it at the Magini, and they die. Like seriously? What? By the way, do not eat the rotten egg. Just yeah, do don't do it. Number fourteen. Be the knife. Deflect the bow gun arrow with your knife. This one is done best on the. Tr there are train cars you're going around and up on top of, and uh, you could uh, you could see it in the video. But you need to go to the train cars, and I, I would say the ones that are furthest away, like in the video. Once they shoot those arrows, you can deflect it with your knife. It is not an easy one, but it's also not super hard. All right, number fifteen, the works. Chain the maximum number of combos together in one. Uh, in one go. This is best done on any of the big the big fellas. I did it on level 2-1 So you have to hit the big fella. Actually. No, I'm sorry. I did a flat a flash I did a flash shot. I got I did a flash grenade at him. He got Flustered I used my physical attack on him then Sheva did a physical attack on him and Then I had an opportunity to do a third one and that's how you get that you just have to do three in a row Sheva does the second one or your other character whoever it is um, yeah, number 16, go into the light, into the light, defeat two enemies with one flash grenade, so you just, um, oh, yeah, so, so for this one and 17, there are these little spiders, these spiders in level 4-1, and in level 4-1, you're gonna see these creepy things, and if you throw a flash grenade at them, they die, so just get at least two or more in a group, and they will die, and speaking of which, who do you trust, certain, build a certain level of trust with your partner, the best way to do this is when those spiders come at you, let them jump on her. She's like, help! And then you just knock it off. And then let it jump on her. Poor Sheva. And it's just like, help! And then you just keep killing them. You will get that achievement because you will always save her. Isn't that isn't that nice? Like, that's a lot of trust right there. All right? So that is how you do that. Level 4-1. Um, number 18, drive by. Stop an armored truck by taking out the driver. And this takes place in, in this one level where, where you are trying to defend yourself on a vehicle it's kind of cool unless you're on um professional and then it's absolutely not cool because it's ridiculously hard but you need to defend yourself so on the right and actually you'll see it in the video what else is new uh you'll see here you have to shoot this driver on the right i think you could shoot other drivers in other vehicles but i i always get this one when i do it so this is the driver you set to kill the driver first and you'll get that the 19 and 20 are both um they're, uh, they're slight spoiler, but slight not. I'm not going to spoil one part of it. But this this takes place in level three dash no no bleh, five dash three, and this is when you're fighting Wesker. That that's a slight spoiler. So anyway, so you're going to go and he's going to start the fight for seven minutes. He says, and you're going to go against this little door thing. It looks like a door. He's going to kick you through it. You got to run. You got to go up to where I am going with a rocket launcher. By the way, whether you buy one. Or whether you buy a bunch of them, or whether you have infinite ammo, which I did. And once he comes around the corner, he won't see you. You have to shoot him. And then, I think you could do... A, I don't think you have to keep shooting with rockets, but I just do. That way, I get it done really fast. So that's how I do that. Um, 
I don't think you can do it with other weapons, but maybe other ones that are bigger, more explosive you can do. Maybe maybe the Magnum. I haven't tried it, but you have to surprise him. And then really just try start, start shooting him like crazy. All right? Number 20, Masters of Removing. This is where you're going to do something that I'm not going to ruin after you beat Wesker. You're going to work together with Sheva to do something, and it'll be very exciting. All right, category number three. Now on to the, all this stuff. Multiplayer achievements. Five achievements for 140 gamer score. And multiplayer means things you have to play all, the, the story multiple times to get. So number one, all dressed up. Purchase all available alternate costumes in the bonus features. So to get all the, the costumes, you need to beat the game once and then get all the BSS, a BSAA, I can't speak, emblems. So you have to collect these emblems. You have to like shoot them. And I'll talk about that in a second. But you have to get every single one of them for both for both characters. Oh, well, I guess there's only one, one, one group of them. You have to get every BSAA emblem and you have to beat the game once. You will have every costume after you do that. There you go. Um, number two, let's get this party started. Unlock all selectable characters in Versus. And this, this you kind of just get, but you need exchange exchange points and the way you get exchange points you can see all this stuff in the menu to unlock it by the way um you earn exchange points by beating levels in the campaign by doing matches in the versus mode and completing the mercs united stages and so also by the way if you do s rank on levels you're going to get more exchange points and as you go on you'll probably have enough points to get these um but you're, you are going to definitely have to play more than once the, the story um but you're gonna have to do it anyway to, to get to get 100%. So three, stockpile. Obtain all available weapons. Now, all weapons are available throughout the game. You could find them in different places. I think the video I'm going to be putting up, I'm going to be putting up some videos. I think that one tells you where all the weapons are too, which is really good. It probably does. Um, either way, it's it's not too hard to find the weapons, to be honest. They're, they're kind of in, in the open spots. Um, but you have to upgrade all of them with, with money. So once you upgrade them all, you can then get other weapons. So it costs a lot and takes a long time to upgrade them all. But once you do that, you'll get all those except for... No, actually, that's true. You will unlock um, also the three heart, the three, um, the Gatling gun and the, the stun rod. I'll talk about that in a second, though. So yeah, you have to get all the weapons. So upgrade everything and you should find everything. Oh, and you do have to have every single type of explosive also. Every type of grenade proximity bomb all those things you just have to use them i think and you'll you'll get them so um and then you could buy your also when you're in that mode um when you're in the like, like your, your, your the shop area you can then buy all these weapons okay buy and upgrade in there they're action figures collect all the figures so you have to s rank every level to get the final figure so you might as well just, you know, you're going to get most of these anyway, but you ha you're going to have to S rank everything, which is kind of annoying to get that last one. So that's the only thing other than just playing the game normally that you have to do. And you have to use exchange points to unlock all these things, which costs a lot. So we'll go over that. Take it to the max. Completely upgrade all weapons. Oh, look at that. That's what I was talking about. So there is this thing. So you could play forever and play m longer than 50 to 60 hours, or you could use the egg glitch. There are, uh, I think it's Rotten Eggs. Yeah, Rotten Eggs. And the Rotten Egg glitch, you do this certain thing, which I'll put up a video right now for it. And you have to go in and you have to have Rotten Eggs in your inventory. Then you give them the Sheva. But then you save your inventory, but you don't save the game. And then you go back and you still have it. So it's a, it, you keep doing that and then you have infinite, infinite money. This game takes a long time to get money. And so if you want to keep playing, that's fine. But otherwise, that is the best way to do that. Um, the, the egg glitch, the rotten egg glitch. There you go. Category number four, extra mode achievements. Three achievements for 45 gamer score. So these I just put on a separate category because these are the best place to get these enemies. Um, and you can get, I think as soon as you unlock the type of character, the costume, that you have access to these weapons. That's why. The weapons I'm talking about are the stun rod and the, the, um, the Gatling gun and the longbow. And so... The best place to go is into the Mercenaries United, which is why there's a gameplay, uh, a playthrough for that. Go in, just defeat 30 enemies with each of them. Now, through the game process, you will unlock those eventually, but it takes a long time. So if you want to get them done, you can go to Mercenaries. I think you have to unlock those specific characters, like Heavy Metal Chris has the Gatling gun. You know, so Heavy Metal Chris. <laughs> wow. 
Oh, Chris, in this game, let me tell you. Category 5, collectible achievements. Three achievements for 75 gamer score. All right. So all of these are available in the guide I'm going to put up. Uh, I guess I'm going to put it up now, actually, once I look back on it. And in this, you have to find all the BSAA emblems, find all four types of eggs and all the treasures. So this video will show you where all the emblems and the treasures are. Now, the eggs, you will find, I'm sure you'll find the white egg and the and the and um, the brown egg. No problem. The gold egg is a little harder to find. Here is a spot on the video where you could. There's a house, and there is a chicken up there, and it's it's early on in the game. I think like the second level, or the um, like one dash two. Yeah, I think one dash two or one dash three. But um, uh, the, the chicken lays a golden egg, and you could just get that. So I, every time I've ever been there, that chicken has laid a golden egg. So other than that, though, there is an island in one of the levels. And that level, I think it's three dash, yeah, three dash one, where you can get all of them, I think, except for rotten. I don't know if it lays rotten actually, but yeah, but definitely gold, definitely brown, and definitely white. You can go to this little island. And then the other thing with this is four dash one, which is the one where you had all those spiders. If you kill those spiders by the end, once you get to the end door, there's an end door where you have to go to the next section. They some of them drop rotten eggs. And I've done it more than once, gotten rotten eggs there. So if you don't get that by the end of that room, restart it and then try that room again. It's the beginning of 401. You'll see this. It's a long path. So that's the best place to get that. Those all four eggs. And every, otherwise, everything else is on the guide. So, All right. Category 6, Challenging Achievements. Five achievements for 195 gamer score. I only put Normal and Veteran on here because in order... Because if you did Professional right away, you would unlock those two. So I'm assuming that you are not playing it, well, I'm assuming you're not playing normal. That's why it's on there, basically. So complete it on normal, complete it on veteran, complete it on professional. It's just hard, but if you have infinite ammo, really, like, it's nothing. Now, number four, run the gauntlet night and night terrors, these two. One of them is professional and desperate escape, and one of them is professional and lost in nightmares. This, you do not have infinite ammo. So yeah, it's hard. Um, it's not super, hard there are harder things in the resident evil universe but they're not easy either especially uh desperate nightmares uh desperate night wow i just combined them desperate escape <laughs> oh my goodness all right category seven dlc desperate escape achievements four achievements for 60 gamer score <laughs> speaking of which so this one you are a certain character which i'm not going to spoil but you might know already and another character in the game and you're going to be trying to get out escape the and you're doing it desperately. So number one, Way of the Warrior, defeat 150 enemies single-handedly in one playthrough of this. Now, that sounds easy, but I feel like it's not. You really have to try to kill everyone. Um, by the end, you'll probably have this no matter what, as long as you're killing every enemy you see. But I've heard people not be able to get it. So you know, just make sure you clean every enemy. You heard what I just said. Number two, get away. Complete Desperate Escape on any difficulty setting. Well, that's easy. Number three, Shoot the Messenger. Three, de de Defeat... I can't speak today, can I? Three, Agitator Magini in one playthrough of this this DLC. Um, and for this, you need to you need to find the three Agitators. And these are the dudes with the loudspeaker, with the, with the, with the bullhorn. And they're like, Aah! they're saying stuff. They're getting all of them agitated. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's why it's called Agitator. Okay. So, yeah, they're agitating them up and getting them all angry so that they come kill you. But the first one is the hard one because it doesn't always appear. So, this first area, there are these, like, ladders and tanks and stuff. And there's a door that you need a key to, which is easy to find. So, do not go through the door. Make sure every single enemy in this first section is dead. Now, you may need to wait because more come. And then I've also been told you have to go up every ladder. I think there are three or four ladders. So just both, either way, go up every ladder and make sure you don't open the door with the key until every single enemy is done. Make sure they're all done in that first section. Once it's done, you go through the gate and then you'll see a cutscene, and then the agitator will be back in that first section again on top of one of the uh, tank things. So then you just go back, go up and kill them. There you go. The second one is, is in a section where where you have these big these big gatling bomb guns and it's all the way at the end of it you're going to want to go into the next section and move on but you don't want to yet there are a lot of the bug things in this section too so make sure 
you get onto those Gatling guns and eventually they'll come from across the way. And then the last one's in the last section. I think it's in the last 30 seconds. There's a, there's a countdown, but it's the last 30 seconds. Uh, either way, just so you can see it, I'm going to put up a guide for this one. All right. And number four, complete the Desperate Escape with an S rank. And to get an S rank on these DLCs, you need to have precision, a number of kills, kill as many enemies as possible, um, and cause damage. And then you have to get point objects. Point objects are like drop from enemies. So they drop these like star thingies. Uh, hard to explain, like metals. You have to collect as many as them. You can also find hidden ones all throughout the level. And also how fast you do it. So all those things um, can get you S rank. You might be able to do it no problem, but if, I would suggest maybe uh, amateur or the easiest difficulty for that. So the next one is not is not too difficult. Category eight, loss of nightmares achievements. Uh, same type of thing, four achievements. So wish upon a star. So there are these score stars, which I think that's what they're called. Actually, the things that the enemies drop, that the little medals. And there are eight of them hidden throughout. I'll put up a um a guide right now to show you which uh, where they are, and so you can follow along. But you just have to shoot all of them. Not so not super hard. Number two, inflict a set amount of damage to Wesker in Lost in Nightmares. So you have to def you have to go up against Wesker in this. And let me tell you, this might be one of the hardest achievements in this entire game. Um, so he's going to be, right, this this last section, he's going to be running at you, and you need to avoid him. And then you need to shoot him as much as possible with your gun. And once he starts getting, ah, you use your physical move on him, avoid him, make sure he doesn't hit you. And then, um, and then you just keep doing that physical move, avoid physical, just keep shooting him, physical move, just try not to get hit because he does a lot of damage. So this is, this is not the easiest, but as long as you're doing those physical moves and not getting hit, you'll be fine. All right. You're not going to have much ammo either. Just so you know, number three, any difficulty beating this and number four with an S rank, same type of thing. All right. Now the last one, which, which was, oh dear Lord, this took so long category nine, um, multiplayer achievements versus mode. So, uh, nine achievements for 180 gamer score. I played this with two to three other people. Uh, two of them are, are friends who I've played with on other games too, like Resident Evil 6. And, and one we found online. But there are a whole, whole bunch of different modes here. There's Slayers mode, there's Team Slayers, there's Survivors, and there's Team Survivors. So, bringing the pain, 30 gamer score. Defeat 50 players of physical attacks and versus. And can you... Can you stand there and let, let the other person just do physical attacks to you on the other team? Yes, you can. There you go. This, this is a boosting thing because, honestly, to play against real people is very difficult. And I do not like online gaming um, when, it's like, when it's like this, like really competitive. Sorry, I'm just bad at it. So, yeah, we just boosted it. So you just did it to each other. Number two, keep the good times rolling. Chain a 20 defeated combo in Slayers. So you need to keep defeating the, the, the zombies, or I guess whatever they're called. The Magini, there you go. You have to keep defeating them until you get a 20 defeated combo. It's not the easiest to keep the combo up, but you just have to start killing them as fa fast as possible. But you will get it. Number three, Army of One. Oh, by the way, that first one was in any versus. All right, so uh, unless I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure any versus. So that the one we just did with Slayers, this one's also Slayers. Army of One. Win 15 matches in Slayers. So you can just let your friends win. There you go. Number four. Now we're on the Team Slayers. So two of you are on a team, two of you are on a team. The team that slays together <laughs> win 15 matches as a team. And number five, it takes two to tango. Chain a 40 defeated combo. So you just have to get 40 combo with the both of you. Um, before the combo meter runs out. Number six, Eye of the Tiger. Win 15 matches in Survivors. Now we're in Survivors. It's all about the points. Score at least 40,000 points in Survivors. So again, you can let your friend get the many points. Just keep beating everybody up and shooting things. Um, number eight, we will survive. And same thing, 15 matches and score 80,000 points. So these are not complicated achievements. They just take a long time, especially if you're playing like uh, against real people who are trying to kill you. You know, but if you're boosting with friends, uh, and there are people who boost this game and Resident Evil 6, so do not think that you're lost. There are people who do it. But otherwise, 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 that's the game right there. And I, I think this game is, is awesome. I've played this game so many times. People hate on it, but it is really a good game. So uh, I suggest it, and I think it's worth the time and effort to get all those achievements, to be honest. So I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you next time on Achievement Planner.